Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Today, and we're back with a special episode this time. Whenever you think of a space mission, the name of SpaceX comes to mind first, doesn't it? Yeah, SpaceX is no longer just a space research company. SpaceX means you and our sensation, insanity, thrill. The year 2020 will be especially memorable in the history of mankind. The COVID pandemic has forced people to rethink everything this year. Even at the end of the year, this pandemic continues to show its power. SpaceX's recent success is significant even in the face of adversity. They accomplished nearly two to three successful missions on average in every month. In the end of 2019, SpaceX had put forward a lot of ambitious plans and projects to be carried out in 2020. They said that deployment of Starlink broadband satellites is the chief aim of SpaceX in 2020. President and Chief Operating Officer of SpaceX, Gwynne Shotwell, said at the World Satellite Business Week conference in September 2019 that the company aimed to launch as many as 24 Starlink missions in 2020. This is the first year, 2020, that we're seeing that we are now ready to fly our customers before they're ready. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk said that this numerous launches would make Starlink economically viable. They also had plans on Crew Dragon missions. Mr. Musk had said in a tweet in December last year, Crew Dragon should be physically ready and at the Cape in February, but completing all safety reviews will probably take a few more months. In 2020, SpaceX performed its first liftoff on the 7th of January from the grounds of Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex SLC-40 in Florida. In this mission, a Falcon 9 rocket launched a constellation of 60 Starlink satellites to the low Earth orbit. On the 19th of January, a suborbital in-flight abort test of Crew Dragon capsule was held. At the end of January, the 29th, another Starlink launch was again conducted from Cape Canaveral by SpaceX. After these three successful launches, on the 17th of February, 2020, SpaceX again completed launch of Starlink satellites. After a little interval, SpaceX carried out CRS-20 mission, also called SpaceX-20. It was launched from the Cape Canaveral SLC-40 aboard a Falcon 9 rocket on the 7th of March. At the middle of March, the 18th, SpaceX deployed another bunch of 60 satellites in LEO. In that mission, SpaceX used Booster B-1048 for the fifth time. Unfortunately, their recovery attempt was not successful. In the month of April, another Starlink mission was conducted on the 22nd of April. This was Starlink V1.0 L6 mission launched from Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39A. An important mission named Crew Dragon Demo 2 was successfully completed in the month of May. This mission paved the way towards Crew 1 mission. This Demo 2 was part of the Commercial Crew Development Program. Demo 2 was launched on the 30th of May and it docked with International Space Station on the 2nd of August. Douglas Hurley and Robert Benkin were the two astronauts who have gone in this crewed mission. It marked the first orbital crewed spaceflight in a private spacecraft. In June, three successful missions were completed consecutively, first of them on the 4th of June, completing Starlink V1.0 L7 mission. In this mission, Booster B-1049 was flown for the fifth time with successful recovery. Second mission was held on the 13th of June. Falcon 9 carried a payload of 58 Starlink satellites, three Earth observation satellites of Planet Labs, Skysat, 16, 17, and 18. This was SpaceX's first SmallSat rideshare mission. On the 30th of June, the third mission of the month was conducted. A GPS 3A03 satellite of US Space Force was launched on a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral launch pad. This mission was named after famous African-American polar explorer Matthew Henson. Almost in the middle of 2020, SpaceX launched South Korea's first sworn military communication satellite. A satellite named Anasis-2 of Republic of Korean Army was deployed to the geosynchronous orbit by SpaceX Falcon 9 on the 20th of July 2020. SpaceX successfully accomplished three launches in August. On the 7th of August, they launched 57 Starlink satellites and two Earth observation satellites of Black Sky Global from the Kennedy Space Center. On the 18th of August, SpaceX Falcon 9 launched three Skysat, 
along with 58 Starlink satellites. Last mission of the month was held on the 30th of August. Three satellites, SAOCOM 1B, Earth Observation Satellite, TYVAC 0172, Technology Demonstration Satellite, and GNOMES 1, Radio Occultation Satellite of Planet IQ, were sent in that mission. In September, SpaceX arranged only one mission, which was, of course, a Starlink mission. Starlink V1.0 L11 launched from LC 39A. October 2020 was dedicated for SpaceX's Starlink satellite mission. Three launches were carried out one by one on the 6th, 18th, and 24th of October. These three missions added 180 more satellites to Starlink satellite constellation. First two of them were launched from Kennedy Space Center, while the last one was launched from Cape Canaveral SLC-40. On the 5th of November, SpaceX sent a satellite of U.S. Space Force GPS-3A-04 Sacagawea, named after the Shoshone woman Sacagawea, to the medium Earth orbit. Following this launch on the 15th of November, SpaceX launched their crewed mission carrying four astronauts from NASA which was second crewed and first operational Crew Dragon mission. It was one of the most important missions of 2020. After that, on the 21st of November, SpaceX sent an ocean mapping satellite named Sentinel-6 Michael Freelich from Vandenberg Space Launch Complex 4E. Another milestone struck when Elon Musk became the world's second richest person on the 24th of November with a net worth of around $127.9 billion. Booster B-1049 completed its seventh flight and recovery after successfully completing the 25th of November's Starlink mission from launch site in Florida. December was the most awaited month for SpaceX, as Starship High Altitude Flight Test was going to happen this month. The Starship test flight was the most remarkable one. After a series of delays, it was finally conducted on the 9th of December. Though everything went well, yet it exploded at speedy landing. But this did not dampen the spirit of Musk from creating interplanetary transporter vehicle. Apart from that, on the 6th of November, SpaceX launched CRS-21, first modified Cargo Dragon launch, carrying nano racks and Christmas gifts and supplies to the International Space Station. After seven days, on the 13th of December, Sirius XM-7, SXM-7 communication satellite, was sent by SpaceX to the geosynchronous orbit. Before Christmas, SpaceX conducted their last successful launch of the year on the 19th of December. A National Reconnaissance Office satellite, NRO-108, was launched in the last mission. Falcon 9 booster B-1059 lifted off for the fourth time, carrying a secretive U.S. spy satellite to low Earth orbit. With the conclusion of this mission, SpaceX successfully completed 26th launch of Falcon 9 and 23rd successful landing of booster this year. With the completion of the NRO mission, Falcon 9 has officially ended launch schedule of 2020. Falcon 9 has become the world's most launched vehicle of this year. SpaceX has broken its previous annual launch record of 2018, i.e. 21 flights, by almost 25%. With almost no failures in 2020, the Falcon 9 has become the world's most reliable rocket rising the SpaceX for its upcoming 2021 missions. In 2020, Starlink missions covered up more than half of Falcon 9's 26 launches, that a course of 14 launches, deploying almost 840 operational Starlink satellites into the orbit. Now total number of orbiting Starlink satellites rose to 955. SpaceX has also completed the 100 successful launches of Falcon 9 from the beginning. The world's launch giants are on the way to successfully complete around 103 launches in 2020. Of these 103 launches, 26 launches were carried out by SpaceX's Falcon 9 alone, covering almost a quarter of all launches in 2020. On the other hand, Russia's Soyuz 2.1 rocket managed 14 successful flights, and China's five fairly distinct variants of Long March 2, 3, and 4 rockets had completed 24 launches in 2020. With completing almost 40% of its annual launches in a single quarter of the year, SpaceX has shown that they can easily complete 40-plus launches annually. 
SpaceX CEO Elon Musk stated about the goal of launching 48 flights in the coming year. SpaceX has some important projects and plans in hand for 2021. They're planning Crew 2 mission in the middle of March. Crew 3 is also in the pipeline. Cargo Dragon 22 CRS 22 is planned to launch in May. Some launches of Falcon Heavy would also be concluded. SpaceX is also planning for commercial Starship launch in 2021. They have a thrilling plan of racing cars in the moon. SpaceX seems to be on the way to break its impressive 2020 launch record in 2021. The company will fly first, fourth, fifth, and sixth reuses of Falcon 9 boosters, as well as first flight of a payload fairing for the third time. We hope for getting a really thrilling experience from SpaceX in 2021. With first unmanned orbital launch of SpaceX Starship, the year will become adventurous. With this video, we wrap up our journey for 2020 as well. Thanks for all the support and good wishes. Have a great year ahead. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.